Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Yet another very important video for my junior students and for all those students who are preparing for competitive exams. Uh, unitary method, you can't just escape this, right? It is based on direct and inverse variation of quantities and these statement problems which I am going to take up in this video will prove very useful for your preparation. Let me tell you, after watching this video, you need to download the 60 question practice PDF, right, for this particular video. So, download the practice PDF from the link given here in the description box below. After watching it, practice all those and you will feel much more comfortable with the unitary method. Let me tell you about the best offers going on on the ebook of short tricks, the reasoning course and the CBSC practice worksheets. These are all exclusive contents which we are bringing up, working so hard on this. You will not find a better collection of questions anywhere on the internet or in print form in any textbook. If you want to get a copy of all those uh, stuff, then WhatsApp 9896369963, just send me a message on this. Or you can pay a visit to www.spreshagarwal.in. That's my name in the website. Link in the description will take you to the 60 question practice PDF based on this particular concept of unitary method. So here we go, let's solve some questions of unitary method. First off, we have nine liters of mustard oil. So nine liters of mustard oil is purchased for 1677.60. Right. So, how many liters will be purchased for 3914.40? These type of questions. So, see, you have to find how many liters, right? So, when there are two things which are given, that means the amounts are given here, and two things out of which one thing you have to find, then always move in the reverse direction. Like 1, 6, 77.60 in that amount you can purchase 9 liter understand the question like this instead of reading it as 9 liter of mustard oil can be purchased for this much amount so for 1677.6 gives you 9 liters so 1 gives you 9 on 1677.6 this is important which one you have to take to the denominator and then in place of 9, if you have a different, in place of 1, you have a different quantity 3914.40, then whatever is the quantity you have written here, just multiply that by 3914.40 and you will get your answer. So, for this question, I have calculated it for you already so that I can save time, but I, I think you should be very good in your calculation of these concepts otherwise you know you're going to struggle in solving these type of questions this will be exactly 21 liters so if you solve it and find the answer you will get 21 liters as the answer for this question even if you have understood 50 percent of this it is perfectly fine because next question will make it more clearer clearer so in the second question he says in 1156 rupees you can purchase 17 dozen bananas. Now, he says, if you have double two, double four rupees, how many dozen bananas can you purchase? So, very simple, right? So, these two are given. So, let's take this to the denominator. So, in one rupee, you will get 17 upon 1156, these many bananas, and then 2244 rupees. Just multiply this by 2244, you will have your answer. So, if you calculate this, you will get your answer and I'm sure uh, the process is much more clearer to you now and the answer for this will be exactly 33 dozen bananas. See, the two quantities which were given to us were the amounts and one of the amounts has to be taken to the denominator and the other amount is to be multiplied by that to get to the final answer for this particular question. Let's see some more. Okay. So, in 5 hours, see how, how I am reading the question. Because I know how much distance. The question says how much distance. 
So distance is the variable. So I'll always have that variable as the fourth quantity. See, in five hours, in five hours, a distance of 68 kilometers can be traveled. So in a day, in a day means 24 hours, right? How much distance should be covered? See, this question mark should always come at the fourth spot so that you feel really comfortable. And if you have to find this, what do you do? Just take this to the denominator. That means 68 upon 5 and then multiply it by 24 to get the answer, exact answer there. Right? So, 68 divided by 5 and times 24 will give you the answer for this question. And I think the answer for this, how much distance will be covered is 326.4 kilometers. It's in decimals because uh, it's not an exact multiple like 5 uh, hours converted to 24 hours. You will have to multiply that by some uh, decimal number. And that is why the answer is coming in decimals. Let's see another one. If a train covers 484 kilometer distance in five and a half hours, how much distance will how much distance so that distance is the variable part right five and a half hours so 5.5 hours you cover 484 kilometers so what distance will be covered in 13 hours so likewise you can now uh, very easily do this also uh, how do you do that just take this 5.5 to the denominator so you will have 484 divided by 5.5 and then multiply it by this quantity you will get the answer for this particular question. See the conceptual clarity, you know, that's what I keep on focusing and I tell my students, you know, you always have to be really, really clear about the concepts which we are taking up to solve a particular problem. If you're not clear about the concept, then this is going to be really difficult. Okay, so the answer for this question will come out to be 1144 kilo, uh, kilometers, I think, yeah, kilometers, that is the answer. So you can see in five hours distance covered is 68 so that if you increase the time the distance is also increasing likewise here also the time increases and therefore the distance also increases let's see some more if a distance of 47.4 kilometers is covered in three hours what will be the time taken to cover now see the question says what will be the time taken so the time taken is the fourth variable okay so i will write 47.4 kilometer covered in three hours so 189.6 distance covered in how many hours very easy right the fourth thing has to be the unknown one and then take it to the denominator three upon 47.4 and multiply that by 189.6 which will give you the final answer for this particular question see i have already calculated them for you so that you can save time and uh, you can just learn the concepts which I am putting up for you. But in exam, you need to be really smart in handling the decimals. This will be 12 hours. That is the answer for this question, right? So 47.4 kilometers covered in three hours. So 189 points, we are increasing the distance. So time will increase, right? So that becomes 12 hours. Likewise, another one very similar to this. What will be the time taken? So 405 kilometers covered in nine hours. So 180 kilometers covered in how many hours? See now the distance has decreased. So the time will also decrease. That's another important checkpoint which you can apply. So let's take 405 to the denominator of nine and then multiply that by 180 to get the correct answer. And I think this uh, calculation is much more easier than some of the previous calculations which we have already done. So the answer for this question is exactly four hours that is the time taken to cover this distance because nine cancels this exactly 45 times and 45 cancels 180 exactly four times so four hours is the answer for this question friends unitary method is really important and you need to practice a wide variety of questions you know sit at a stretch for like two three hours solve 50 60 questions and then you will feel comfortable with this concept I think the video is, will prove really beneficial for all the competitive exams and for the school students equally. So you need to download the practice PDF, uh, the link of which I have put up here in the description box below. Click it and, uh, you know, take that worksheet, solve it to feel comfortable. 
do share this video do subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting the notifications thanks for watching this and all the best